Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about this uh, shoe wax that I got with my new pair of boots. Um, uh, what I got from the uh, store owner, he said that uh, you only need this. And why this blew my mind, I actually have to show you what I used before. Uh, I used a wax and then the shoe polish. Uh, the wax was mostly because to get the waterproofness and you see it's yellow, quite thick actually so you can actually take some with your finger but you have to press really really down to get it up <laughs> um, and you, you use it on the shoes and then you wait it until it uh, more or less sunk into all the well, the leather, and then you had to buff it with a with a shoe brush. Uh, worst part was that it never got warm enough actually to get into the pores of the leather, and then you when you brushed it, the brush got all waxy, and you had to clean it, and maybe even get another uh, brush to get it off. Um, and after that, you took your shoe polish. Uh, this is a new jar that I bought quite recently. As you see it's like it's also a harder surface that you actually use this smaller brush for to get out. Um, it took quite some time to get uh, everything on since you had to wait for the wax and then you polished it and then you had to put on uh, the polish uh, just to, well, I waited for it down to actually be able to just brush it out and get that the shiny gloss. Uh, so, the guy in the store gave me this shoe wax for professionals, um, and it's it's nothing what I ever seen before. I I didn't really understand why why he just wanted to so think like, but the wax and the shine. I mean, come on. Uh, and apparently this is all you need. This is a fat with black paint in it. Well, not paint, but uh, just coloring. And as you can see, it's very, very good uh, to get down pores. It's more or less like if you would take the wax and actually just um, just warm it up, so it's uh, easier to put on shoes. Uh, more more than this is actually I got uh, the Echo spray for Gore-Tex. Uh, just u use it on Gore on the shoes, and it's not a spray that you just hold down and you spray all the time. It's like a you know push spray all the time, uh, and you cover the shoes very fast, just a thin layer. Um, and just sit, let it sit on for 15 minutes and uh, let it absorb it give it to the Gore-Tex material underneath and well, take care of it I, I guess, I really don't know what it does but uh, it stinks really much, I do this outside um, and yeah, just wait 15 minutes when you get, come back it, the shoes will uh, look like you never sprayed anything on them, that means it's good, it means that it actually went into the leather and didn't uh, just stay on it, um, but it makes the leather more uh, waterproof, not the leather, the Gore-Tex, to do what it should, keep the rain out and uh, keep the sweat going out instead. Okay, instruction for this is apply to clean leather rub sparingly, I don't know what that word actually means, into the surface applying as many coats as a polish for op optimal result. Um, what he said in the store that is that you just take it on your finger, do not use a cloth, don't use anything like that because the cloth will also absorb it since it's uh, not as the wax, it's not a hard surface, it's very light, it's more or less. If you ever seen palm oil for itself, like it's this gooey. Uh, you don't want to get it into a cloth because then the cloth will absorb more than the shoes actually. 
So what you did, you just take some on your finger, you just rubbed it on. These shoes I did yesterday, and they were pretty beat up. Uh, they were, had white spots because I got some new boots and I thought, oh, I probably won't be using these again uh, until one of the store managers said he could probably get me a new pair of soles for these, sho for these shoes and get them uh, redone. So uh, <laughs> I'm keeping these uh, uh, for test purpose as well for this. And I took some of my finger, I just spread it out so we got completely black and it got uh, it wasn't as shiny as it is now because I buffed it up with the uh, shoe brush uh, and just got it everywhere on it then I did the one shoe then I went to the other shoe and put some more of the wax on it then when I was done with the second shoe I went back to the first shoe and just polished it and I must say I mean I wasn't a completely clean brush from the old stuff I used, but afterwards I did like this and try and find, and it's it wasn't coming off on my hand, so I'm guessing it, it more or less was on the shoe already. And today it's not it's not a little a little sticky, but it's more or less like using regular shoe polish. You sh you feel that it's there. It's not uh, silky smooth but it's not coming off either uh, yeah so if you want to try this it's uh, I paid 89 Swedish which translates to about I think it's like eleven dollars or something like that but I'm guessing the closer you live to the guys who produce it the cheaper it gets uh, it's uh, from uh, MPSEC uh, and you can probably get it from most uh, stores uh, here in Sweden we have one store that actually had it and yeah 89 isn't isn't that bad because if you look how much I actually used up for two pair of shoes uh, against this I think that they will hold about the same but Instead of having two things to apply, I have one thing plus an extra Gore-Tex thing, but you don't have to use it like every time you fix the shoes, just when you have been out in a rain season or something like that. Uh, quite happy. I will tell you how it goes later on how it wears and tears. Uh, but what I can feel right now is that you're staying on there. So take care and hope I put up some more views in the future. Thanks. <laughs>